<laughs> I just thought I would make a really quick video. My baby always get, he always get thrown into every video. He's like, mommy, I'm tired of being the comparison guinea pig. Like I always like to, you know, put him in the video to show like size comparison and just like maybe even color comparison. Um, I am really in baby heaven right now with the babies that I have. I am so thankful for just being able to make babies that I actually like myself. Um, I never thought I'd get to that point. Um, I still know that there's a lot of things I want to improve on and get better on. Um, and you know, every day I try to, and each baby I try to grow in an area to where, you know, I'm improving and getting more realism and new skin tones or better skin tones it's just what i like to do um i do have a problem with letting go of my babies i've already know that <laughs> uh, but eventually as everybody know like i say that but at the same time i'm known for selling my babies you know like at the drop of the hat too like when they first are I was going to say born, but when they're first completed, I'm like, oh no, I can't let this one go. And then over time I tell myself, I, okay, I need to let this go. So with that being said, the next baby that is being worked on for sale, um, to be put up for sale is not actively up for sale right now. So, um, I just ask that you guys kind of like, you know, give me a little time to get it rooted because I don't like to not have it done. And then people like feel like, you know, like, you know, it's like a lot of pressure on me to try to finish it. And my life is just too unpredictable right now to know how my timelines are going to be. Um, I do have like a few previous, you know, prior commitments. And then of course, you know, I will make sure I try to make, maintain those, those timelines with those particular projects, but I don't want to take on anything else. Um, so you know, just so you guys know, if you're new to my channel, you may not know, I am a mother of five, four grown children, and they're young grown children, so they're still needy to mommy, and then, well, most of them, and then um, I have two new grandbabies, which I, you know, two and one angel baby, but two, um, a two-year-old and a six-month-old, seven-month-old. Um, soon to be seven month old. And, uh, so, you know, it's, it's a lot. And I have one, one young little nine year old here in the house, little mini me. And so, you know, life is busy. And then also now I am kind of, you know, um, I have my grandpa here that's, uh, be 90 next month. Um, so um, that was, you know, unexpected. So he's here for till I don't have a, a date of when that will change. But yeah, so a lot on my plate. Um, so I am the only one that cooks. I'm the only one that cleans. So and you know, you just you know, working and painting and YouTubing and you know, just even just trying to keep a healthy mindset and you know, you know, it's just a lot. So. I don't want to like overstress myself, so I don't want to put those pressures out there and be like, oh yeah, okay, you could go ahead and I'll sell you this baby and it'll be done in two weeks and then something happened and I can't work for a whole four days and now it's like, uh, okay, it's going to be another two weeks and then another two weeks and another two weeks. So, and y'all know I root slow, so. But the next baby that I say all that to say and put all my business out there for you guys to take it and do what you want with it. Um, I have another baby, which is Nobi. You guys know her as, uh, Nobi or Rosen, the, the kid by, the cuddle baby by Jamie Lynn. She's so gorgeous. I honestly, I'll be honest. I'm very selfish. Sometimes when a baby turns out better than I expected, I want to keep it for myself. Especially the cuddle babies. I kind of like really I practice things with them sometime and I really just be wanting to keep them for myself when they come out really good so I was gonna keep her I was I was like I'll sell anything else but her like that was my my thing um 
and but I you know I said you know what I'm gonna let her go because I really love Gigi and I need a little bit more time with Gigi so I'm rooting her now and so she'll be available once she's fully rooted and then she's back on her body and I got her box open and stuff together I will put her up for sale so she'll be ready to ship out um and then I, I could better price them too once I see them fully completed um and who else um, I do have the awake version of that. I have not painted it yet, but that one will be up for sale. Just kind of giving you guys an idea of what's up for sale. A lot of people are like, well, do you have a website of where you sell your babies? I don't have a website, to be honest, because it's never been a thing where I feel like I'm that big to where I need a website. Um, because I, you know, I don't, I don't sell like a whole lot, like a lot of people, um, so, you know, I mostly paint for myself and, you know, I, I hog them up. I've been saying this lately, like I have the first right of refusal on all my babies. Like, so that's my new thing. And I, and that's another thing I, 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 I wish people would really, really like consider that I am actually a collector and I actually mainly paint for myself because people get mad. They're like, well, gosh, why are you keeping that one? type thing and it's like oh I mean so um you know it's like it's, it's tug of war because it's like I want to put my best work out in out there but then I want to keep my best work too so sometimes it's like really a struggle to let them go but um you know or if I feel like it's not good enough I don't want to put it out there you know there's babies that I've discounted heavily because I felt like it wasn't good enough. And then, you know, to my surprise, in most cases, um, the mommies were like, I'm crazy. They think I'm crazy. Like, what, are, what, what was it that you thought was not good? So, you know, that's a good thing. But, you know, I know too, I'm not perfect. And I know I'm not the best of the best and stuff. And I know I got a lot of stuff to grow on. So, you know, I, I really appreciate everybody that has supported my work and purchased my work and, you know, have been encouraging me to keep trying to do better because I never thought this was where I was going to end up, like, painting. Um, so, anyway, with that being said, um, I do have some babies. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to move forward with Lanny by Oga Aram. Um, there is someone that have been expressing extreme interest in that particular sculpt for quite some time and so um if she likes him then that baby will probably go to her um uh, but if not it will be up and available and then i'm painting missy i have two missy blank kits well two missy kits by natalie blick one i am currently working on and one is blank and so um i may sell the first one and then, um, you know, just as long as I got a backup kit. So, um, yeah. And like I, I've been saying in every video, I've kind of slowing down on my vinyl. Eventually, I'm going to just do away with my vinyl workstation. Um, not that I will stop painting vinyl, but I don't need to keep a full workstation if I'm not going to be, like, painting vinyl all the time. Because... Um, it'll give me more space to display my babies because my collection has been growing. Um, but, you know, because I don't have a, like an exclusive rooter or, you know, someone that roots for me exclusively that is always ready to receive a head for me. Um, I, I see one artist do that. She has like her friend just roots for her and, um, that's nice but I don't have that so um you know just the weight and I can't necessarily offer a custom to anybody because I can't predict when the baby would be rooted you know for vinyl if that makes sense um silicone I have a lot more control over so I think I'll probably eventually end up just painting vinyl exclusively for myself and um because I can, I can stand to wait for them to go out and get rooted. So that's kind of like a little, a lot about where I am 
as you know from the artist side or the painting painter side because you know I still struggle with calling myself an artist um silicone I don't know you know I I I would love to just paint exclusively for myself but it's just not durable when um doable not durable but whatever <laughs> whatever baby she can't talk um it's not as doable because the medium itself is just expensive and i can't afford to just keep buying kits and painting for myself i have to sell i have to sell just to be able to afford another kit you know what i mean so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna tell that lie to you guys and be like i'm not gonna be painting silicone and putting them up for sale i'm just gonna paint for myself that's not gonna work so definitely i will constantly have like some babies up for sale um i have been painting uh well i think i've been i don't know i don't know you guys may you know it's easy for me to say from from where I'm standing, but from where you guys are sitting, I don't know if you guys have seen that I am trying to do a little bit more variety in skin tones with my silicone painting, but I have so much to learn. Um, it's just so scary. <laughs> it's so scary with silicone. It's like, ah, I want to try these colors together, but you know, I don't know, because if it don't come out right, like, you messing up a lot of money. Like, it's not like a $100 kit, you know what I mean? Like, even with the cuddle head itself, sometimes you pay $300 alone for just the head. And so, you know, one mistake, and you've ruined that. And that's an expensive mistake when you keep doing it, you know what I mean? So... But I'm I'm gradually like I'll try a little this and maybe a little that and then there's other things that uh, there's a lot that I've I've been trying to you know master or get better at and figure out what's the best way to do you know to accomplish or achieve a certain look or texture or feel or yeah um, so right now I'm playing with undertones um, I'm playing with Motlin. I've been playing with, you know, like stuff like that. That stuff to me is like the the most biggest thing for me with painting. And it's also the most fun. Like I love it so much. I really, really enjoy painting. And especially when I don't have to do it with pressure. I could probably do really well if I took customs. I think I would be booked up <laughs> quite a bit. Um, just humbly saying that because... A lot of people don't take customs and so I know a lot of especially for you know ethnic babies g give me a minute Gabby um I definitely think that that would be like a quick buck to make but I think if I be honest I don't think it would end well for me because it'll be a lot of pressure for one and even if I work with the most easiest customers if I take on too many because one time I don't know if y'all remember I took on like seven customs or so at a time and it's great because you get these deposits that money is flowing in but can you deliver within t reasonable timelines and not have mommies sitting out there questioning and worrying and being pissed off because I don't know about you guys but when I'm waiting on a custom my brain is like all over the place like I'm so scared that it's not going to be what I'm what I'm visioning because I know that my vision and the artist's vision may not coincide and come together well. So, you know, to, to stretch that out for a, a mommy or a collector, whatever you want to call, call it, a buyer, is like, that's excruciating <laughs> to sit and just be keep like, okay, it's going to be another two weeks. Okay, it's going to be another four weeks. Okay. You know, and they're just wondering, like, oh, my God, is this baby going to be a mess? Because I don't do work in progress pictures with silicone painting anymore at all. Um, you know, I I kind of do a little here or there maybe when I get to the skin tone, but not not like I used to. So that's that's a lot. So I don't want to do that to people. And, you know, I don't know. I just I think I like it when people see my work. They see it, for you know, done. And, um 
you know, there's going to be variations there, you know, anytime you're doing hand painted art, you, you're going to have something that may not be perfect. Or we're also looking from a camera or a video, um, I mean, a photo or video. And it's like the colors may kind of vary slightly differently in person. It may be better. It may not be the same, whatever the case may be. So, you know, it's always going to be that, but I, I still feel like I have a better chance of pleasing my customer if they see it already done versus them having to like say, oh, I want this skin tone. And then, you know, and especially with silicone, because it, it may look like it's going to be that, that skin tone before matting. And then you matt and it's like, oh, damn, like this ain't even close. Like, you know, it's like, what do you do? You know, I should have went two more layers or I should have used this color more or less of that color. You know, I see it all the time with my personal work. I'd be like, oh, man, that's not really what I was going for. But OK, it's OK. I'll I'll live. You know what I mean? So that's where I'm at. And I know like customs are big and I get it because, you know, you want the, a specific sculpt and you're looking for a specific type of paint style. And it's hard to sit there and wait and hope that the artist one day paint it the way that you want it or that sculpt at that time and then be the one to end up buying it. So um, I struggle with that from the collector side because there's artists that I absolutely love work that I really, really want one of their babies. But it's like, you know, I've. Some of them I bought from them and it's like I buy just strictly because, oh, I love that skin tone. But I really wasn't into the sculpt, but I really just wanted that skin tone from them. I love the way they rooted the hair, da 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 the way it came together. But it ain't going to last long. So I really, like, need that artist to do, <laughs> like, a private order at least. Like, let me tell you what sculpt and what, what, what uh, look I'm looking at or something. I don't know. But so I get it. Um... I definitely get it and I'm you know there's other things that I want to work on that's not really pertaining to the art part I'm not very good at like box openings like all the pretty frills some of you guys wrap so nicely and all that stuff I suck at that stuff um, but I do see n new stuff and clean stuff <laughs> so um, it may just be in a gift bag but it you know my video my battery is going dead if you guys like this conversation and want to hear more and want to talk let's let's do a live stream actually bump a video let's just talk about it openly let me know in the comment section if you want to do a live stream and talk about customs and all kinds of stuff like this 